Welcome home, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another I followed blanks what I eat in a day video. If you haven't seen my videos in this series in the past, I will link them down below. But basically, what I do in this video is I follow another YouTuber's what I eat in a day video and I have to eat everything that they eat in a day. But I'm vegan, so I basically eat the exact same thing they eat, but a vegan version of it. And in the last video that I did, I followed Gabby Hanna's video and I got quite a few comments that were like, what's the point in following it if you're not going to eat the exact same food that she's eating? And I kind of feel like the concept of it is I'm vegan and I'm essentially showing that you can eat the same things that other people eat, but a vegan version. And also, I feel like it's more interesting to kind of not eat the exact same thing like, because anyone could do that, you know what I mean? I'm going to be following Olivia Jade's What I Eat in a Day video, which I felt was rather appropriate considering the recent college admissions scandal, so let's, um, cruise on in to the video. That was so bad. There's gonna be lots of dad jokes and puns in this video, so I am sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna watch Olivia Jade's What I Eat in a Day video and see what she's eating, and then try to replicate that as best as I can. So she actually has a couple What I Eat in a Day videos, but the first one that she did was really bad and she actually got criticized for it um, mostly from like vegan people but basically it was because she didn't eat enough calories or at least in their opinion they didn't think she was eating enough calories and it was like she was kind of promoting calorie restriction in a way and just like really didn't eat enough so i'm not going to be following that one so yeah i think she has a couple but i'm going to be doing um the one from 2018 that was posted a year ago it's called What I Eat in a Day 2018 Healthy Slash How I Stay in Shape. So that's the one I'm following and let's see. So for breakfast, I usually make myself an omelet. This is like religious at this point. I usually have this every single morning. So in my omelet, I'm very picky. So I just do two egg, cheese, and turkey. Bum, ba -da -dum. <clears throat> okay, so Olivia's having an omelet which obviously isn't vegan, and it also has cheese and turkey in it. Neither of those things are vegan either. So we have to improvise. So for the eggs, I'm gonna be using the vegan egg. There's lots of alternatives to make an omelet. You can use chickpea flour, but I just want it to be as realistic as possible, I guess. Um, so this may not be like the healthiest option for a vegan alternative to an omelet. Anyways, I'm gonna be using this. So I'm gonna be using, I think I'll use two equivalents of this, but it's basically like a powder, which I know if you're not vegan, you're probably like, that's really weird. And I get it. Um, it's not an egg. It's a not, it's like a replacement, but um, that's just what we're gonna have. And then I will show you the cheese alternative and the turkey alternative that I'm using. I just wanna point out that I don't eat like this often. I don't really eat fake meat or fake cheese or fake eggs, like really ever, unless I'm like going to a vegan restaurant or something, or if I just really crave that, then I'll have that. But I don't eat like this every day, so the purpose of this video is for me to eat exactly like Olivia Jade, but just vegan version, if that makes sense. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, for the cheese, I'm using this Daya cheddar cheese, which is not the best vegan alternative, but it was the only cheese I could find. And then I'm also going to be using the this tofurkey. Um, they're just like deli slices of vegan meat. And again, this is like the only kind of turkey alternative I could find. So we're just gonna be using this. And then again, I'm using the vegan egg, but I have to prepare this. So I just have to whisk this with some cold water and turn it into a liquid and then pour it in a pan. Okay, so this is what the egg looks like. I just whisked, um, whisked it together with some cold water and then I put some of the cheese in there. And this is the equivalent of two eggs. And then <laughs> this is the turkey. I know it looks so weird. I know it's not real turkey. Okay, so it looks a little weird, but. This is the equivalent, so I'm just gonna throw this in the mixture and then I'm gonna put it in the pan and just make a simple omelet. I'm so tempted to put like pepper or salt or some type of seasoning like garlic or anything or just like more veggies, but this girl is picky, so we gotta follow it as best as we can. One beautiful omelet with vegan turkey and vegan cheese. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty proud with like the fact that I made an omelet and did it right and like flipped it over. I think this is the first time I've ever done that, so props to me. This angle is sad. <coughs> Here is my omelet. I would have definitely added um, veggies, seasoning. It pains me that I have such a beautiful, perfect omelet in front of me, and it I can't put ketchup, I can't put taco sauce, I can't put seasoning or 
veggies on it or avocado or anything. It's just not even pepper. Guys, this is why people make fun of white people when they cook. This is what they mean when they say we don't season our food. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a taste. Oh wait, let me take a picture real quick. Get a little pick of our beautiful omelet. A bone apple tea. We have our first bite. It's not as yellow as like a normal. Okay, why are we not focusing today? The turkey is actually really good, the vegan turkey. It's not bad, but it would be so much better with, I would put like mushrooms in here, tomatoes, spinach, definitely garlic, pepper, at least a little bit of salt, put some avocado on top, put some like sriracha, taco sauce, ketchup, something, salsa, whatever, but still pretty good. Also, I feel like it's like a decent size for a breakfast. I feel like this is like pretty good portion size. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna actually fill me up because like I said, I would have added like more veggies and stuff to it, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. Not that I'm like a food critic here or um, a nutritionist, but just saying, I'm just gonna add my little two cents to every meal. Okay, um, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit here, which in the case of this video, I feel like is appropriate to cheat considering Olivia cheated herself into a um, university. Um, so I'm just gonna add some green taco sauce, just a little bit. Just because I feel like we need something. And that's, the, that's it. That's all. Don't yell at me. Don't tell me I didn't follow her, you know, recipe. She didn't follow the law, so. I think I'm just going to make myself a snack to hold me over for the next two and a half hours of school. An apple with almond butter. I'll show you guys. This is my favorite almond butter. So I'm going to have some of this with an apple and then I'm going to go to school. Okay, so an apple with almond butter. Please don't hate me, but I just realized that I don't have almond butter and I only have peanut butter. I never have almond butter. Even though I like it, I just like, I never buy it for some reason. I just always go for peanut butter. So I don't want to go to the store and get almond butter just for this video. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat again, which like I said, I feel like we can let it slide, you know? I mean, I feel like using peanut butter in lieu of almond butter is a little bit uh, less extreme than um, pretending you're a college athlete just to get into USC. Um, and cheating your way in. Okay, I'm having another piece of, another piece of apple. What do you call it? A slice of apple? An apple slice? With peanut butter instead of almond butter. I have a couple more slices to eat. And then I will see you guys for the next meal. I want my salad. I ordered a salad when I was at school. I postmated it to my house because I'm too lazy to cook. I'm just gonna add half an avocado to it and then I will show you guys the final product. Okay, so this is lunch. I just added half an avocado, but it's chicken, lettuce, avocado, cheese. Sometimes I do bacon, sometimes I don't. Great, so I have to eat a salad without dressing. So exciting. Okay, so for the chicken, for the salad, I'm using these Morningstar chicken patties, which unfortunately are like um, fried chicken and the chicken she's using is like grilled chicken, but we're doing the best that we can. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it up. I don't know if I wanna use like one patty or two. I think maybe I'll do like one and a half. And then for the salad, I just have some lettuce and half of an avocado. And she said she added cheese as well, even though it didn't really look like it. So. I'm just gonna add some of that um, orange cheese that I use it, used for the omelet and sprinkle that on top. I'm really sad that I can't use salad dressing. This is gonna be so hard to eat this without salad dressing. I mean, the girl doesn't add seasoning to her omelet. She doesn't add dressing to her salad. Oh, mmm, how good does that look? It has no dressing on it. <laughs> I honestly, I'm not gonna add salad dressing, but I, I might have to cheat a little bit because this is gonna be really hard to eat a whole bowl of lettuce essentially and again i think it's appropriate to cheat for this video it's on brand you know i'm just gonna use a little bit of lemon and squeeze that on top i think that that's okay like this is like not even calories come on right okay all right so we got the salad i'm gonna give a little taste test let you know how it goes um pray for me because i'm not excited about this sorry about the angle again i just i don't know how to do this okay so Here's a salad, you've already seen it. You already know what it looks like. Let's, but we'll, we'll get another close in, just in case you forgot. Ooh, okay, the chicken looks good. Like, it doesn't look bad. Um, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on, okay, I won't squeeze lemon on top first. We'll try a bite without the lemon first. I wanna get something of everything though, like chicken, avocado, 
some cheese and some lettuce okay so we got a full we got a full house <laughs> okay let's go first of all i'm not the biggest salad fan in the world but if the salad has a lot of flavor to it then i like it unfortunately this is just lettuce with some toppings so i'm gonna put some lemon on i don't know if this is really gonna help much maybe if i mix everything together but yeah this is gonna be hard i shouldn't have made it so big <laughs> why did i do this to myself i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep powering through and hope that i make it out alive this is white people food at its finest guys an unseasoned omelet a dressingless salad. These are the meals of every unseasoned nightmare ever. I can't wait for dinner. So, I postmated food. She's been running around all day. <laughs> okay, I ordered some food. I got plain chicken. I'm really boring. And so, to spice it up, I'm gonna put some tomato sauce and cheese. So it's like my own version, my healthier version of chicken parm. Cause doesn't that just look so plain? Um, I made this look really not cute and just really unappetizing but that is okay. We're gonna put this work of art in the microwave for like a minute. I don't care what anyone says, this <laughs> is a work of art and I am so excited to eat it. It's basically pizza, but instead of crust, it's chicken. This is gonna be probably the hardest meal to replicate being vegan because I don't really know of anywhere where you can get like a full, I don't know what that is. And I don't know why that chicken looks so flat. Is that normal for it to just look like a giant pancake made out of chicken? I don't understand. But I don't know of anywhere where you can get like a veganized version of a giant chicken pancake, essentially. But I do have a couple more of those patties that I used in my salad. So even though it's not like grilled chicken, it's fried chicken or like crumbed chicken. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to go with that and be a little bit innovative. And I'm sorry that it's not extremely accurate. I am doing my best here, okay? Olivia Jade, more like Olivia Shade. This video needs to end soon. <laughs> OMG, yum. This is the saddest meal I've ever seen. Um, I know it's like, I guess, smaller than hers, but I guess that's not as like as flat as her. I wasn't about to eat three of these patties just because, first of all, this doesn't look very good. I'm gonna microwave it, by the way, so the cheese melts, but um, I used this sauce, and then I also am just using the diet cheese. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna microwave this, and we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just like little mini chicken pizzas, kinda random, who knows, maybe it'll taste good. I'm not gonna knock it till I try it, but just saying, it doesn't look the healthiest slash most appetizing meal I've ever seen in the world. It definitely, Gordon Ramsay would not be pleased. Um, even Martha Stewart would probably, frown at this um okay there we go we melted it a little bit and we're gonna do a little taste test i know that i keep like changing my outfits and it's probably really strange and confusing to you um but i just wanted to change my shirt i'm sorry that you can't see this i kind of can't get a good angle with this camera but as you saw we have the beautiful there you go the beautiful chicken pizzas <laughs> okay so i'm gonna try this and once again I'm sorry that it's not as accurate. I just feel like I need to say that because the last video that I, me just <laughs> wheeled in this around. <laughs> the last video that I did, people were upset with me. And if you don't like this video, then don't watch it. A little bite review, close up. It's, it looks like what you'd expect it to look like, I guess. It's a little crewy. Oh, did I say crewy? I meant chewy. <laughs> You know, I really thought those jokes were gonna end, but here we are. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It does literally taste like if you had a pizza, like a chicken pizza with cheese and sauce on it, but without the like crust. If you were to like just eat the toppings, that's what it tastes like. Cause essentially that's what it is. It's not that bad. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my chicken food <laughs> and then I will see you for the next meal. So don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Don't even move. So I got a size two vanilla with strawberries. For those of you wondering, it's amazing. I also get coconut flakes on top. So I forgot my camera at home, 
but um, I'm just filming on my iPhone right now. So I'm at Press Juicery right now. I'm about to. It's literally right behind me. And I'm just going to get um, the ice cream. So I will show you guys when I get it. Okay, so I just went to pressed juicery, freeze juicery, I don't know what, what the hell it's called, but um, I got the same thing that she got, so a size 2 vanilla with strawberries and some coconut flakes. So I'm going to have this, and I guess that's the last meal of the day. I apologize for the lighting, it's a bit atrocious, um, but it's nighttime now, so I don't have daylight coming in or anything. So basically, I just wanted to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy making it that much. <laughs> No, it's fun because like it's a fun experience, but at the same time, the meals could have been a little bit more interesting. Everybody eats a certain way. Olivia Jade can literally eat however she wants. I'm not like this video isn't meant to bash her. I just was trying to make like lighthearted jokes and just follow along. And um, if you felt like I wasn't doing it as accurately as possible, then sorry. Let me know who's what I eat in a day video you want to see me do next and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!